enough to know you don't need to say you love me I've been around enough to know Number one song back in 1985. <coughs> I think it was 1985. Uh, I hope the smoke is not too much. It's good. That was a lot of smoke. <laughs> you know, I thought it was going to be a great idea to do this out here by the fire pit, but um, hopefully it's an interesting effect. Uh, I'm not on fire. It may look as if I'm on fire. <laughs> no, it's like looking at ah. But. Um, we have a song that's been out. Uh, by the way, I hope you are part of my YouTube channel. If you're not part of my YouTube channel, that's where we first release all of the music videos, like uh, this one. We did one just last week. What the fuck happened to country music? Just when the whole wide world was starting to get into it. Somebody came along and put a hip-hop groove right through it. Well, tell me what the fuck happened to country music. Fuck like the fuck Owens. Well, it's been a long time since Buck and Dwight walked the streets of Bakersfield. And nowadays, the songs they play just don't have that same old feel. They put a thousand words into one little verse and make damn sure they all rhyme. And even Blake sounds just like Timberlake. And if you ask me, that's a crime. What the fuck happened to country music? Just when the whole wide world was starting to get into it. Somebody came along and put a hip-hop groove right through it. Tell me what the fuck happened to country music. Well, you know, my daddy was raised in the good old days when you could turn on the radio. You'd hear a steel guitar, your cheating heart, and a whole lot of Haggard and Jones. And without fail, they'd be tiger by the tail at least three times a day. And if Buck was here, I'm pretty damn sure what he'd have. You know, I did Hee Haw six times, and three of them as a co-host. So I worked with Buck quite a bit. And this is what he'd have to say. What the Buck? Happened to country music Just when the whole wide world was starting to get into it Somebody came along and put a hip-hop groove right through it Well, tell me what the fuck happened to country music What the fuck happened to country music Just when the whole wide world was starting to get into it some dipstick, you know, like came along and put a hip hop groove right through it. Tell me what the fuck happened to country music. Tell me what the fuck happened to country music. If Johnny Cash was here today, he'd say, if it was good enough before, leave it the hell alone. Idiot. That's the song. I hope you enjoy it. Um, that video's out right now. Uh, also, we just did a video on um, A Long Way From Lonely, which is also off of the Redneck Rebel album. So if you haven't heard those yet, please check them out. I think that you will like them. It's kind of a throwback to good House of Amazing Grace. Kind of stuff that I listen to. when I, Are you just trying to hint from back there? You know, you realize you're much <coughs> more than I am. So... <laughs> Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind.
song we have got to at the opera. And this is a song that I am hoping that radio stations like, I don't know, 101.7, 107.1, pardon me, uh, Mustang may play. You know, it's harder and harder these days for folks like me, independent artists, to get in front of the radio stations to play their music. So I'm hoping that uh, doing things like this may help that out a little bit. Uh, here's a song that was also a number one song back in the 80s. My second number one song, in fact. In the California, where the ladies look so fine. Dinging. Is that whose phone is that? That is. Would you turn mine. that off? Please? I will, sir. Softly bend his mind. I thought it was mine, but mine's right there. <laughs> Made love in New York City, where they dress in silk and pearls. Oh, but Lord, I swear there's nothing anywhere that's better than you country girls. Cause country girls are sweeter than to follow honey And country girls warmer than a Georgia sun They know how to touch you, know how to love you Take you right out of this world And I'm so glad that God made Country girls Swimming in Chicago In their high-rise penthouse room With fine champagne and other things You could drown in their perfume I'll take a night down in Mobile Just looking out across the bay With a country girl lying next to me Taking my breath away Ah, yeah, cause country girls Sweeter than Tupelo, honey Country girls, warmer than a Georgia sun. Yeah, they know how to touch you, know how to love you, take you right out of this world. And I'm so glad that God made country girls. Yeah, I'm so glad that God Country girls. Ah. Love that song, written by Troy Seals and uh, Eddie Setzer. Number one song back in probably '86. I think it was '86. Um, yeah, it, that came up just recently on Billboard. Oh, that's right. That we just got uh, the. Uh, 35th anniversary of that song being number one. We just posted that on the Facebook page because it popped up on billboards like memories. Um, let me see. Uh, this kind of started this. Uh, we've been doing these concerts from the barn over there um, for a couple of years. We did, uh, for our 01 lifers, we did, and by the way, if you are an 01 lifer and you're watching now, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, just did a video yesterday that is being sent to you. Hopefully you've gotten it already. If you haven't, then you'll get it tomorrow or the next day. It's all about what we're doing here, um, getting ready for the jump, the big jump. Uh, and today's Thursday, right? Yes. Yeah. So Saturday, we are going to unveil the star car from Stand On It. 
and uh, Doug Mills and his lovely wife, Georgia, are here getting that car ready for the unveiling and also for the shot. You remember in Smoking the Bandit when um, you first saw that black Trans Am, it came out of the back of the uh, snowman's truck, out of the back, it was actually Bird's truck, the bandit's truck in the movie, but we remember it as being the snowman's truck. Well, the, we're going to do that shot uh, on Saturday, and we will share that with you, and we will be unveiling, it's not a Trans Am, we're going to be unveiling the new, what I think could quite possibly be uh, the most famous car in the world. And I know a little bit about that, because no matter, no matter what is happening in the world, whenever they do um, a poll or whenever they ask people all throughout the entire planet of all kinds of age groups. What is the most recognizable car in the world? What is the most famous car in the world? Nine times out of ten, the answer to that question is, well, the General Lee, of course. So uh, I'm hoping that our car from Stand On It can at least be up there, maybe number two. General Lee, I think, is always going to be number one, but uh, I'm hoping that our car is going to be a big part of your future uh, muscle car enthusiasm. I love cars, and uh, I love the, the car from Smoking the Bandit, but this one is pretty darn cool, too. I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's see. Um, why not... Um, here. This... I just said the word memory, so I'm going to do this song. This was also a number one song. You know you shouldn't be here. What am I supposed to do? Don't you know I've found a new love? We're close to the railroad tracks, by the way, in case you have We're close to the fire, and we're close to the railroad tracks. I'm trying to be true. Didn't you say we were over? Why do you keep hanging on? You're no longer welcome. Can't you just leave us alone? What's a memory like you? Doing in love like this She thinks we're all through That's not the way it is When I hold her in my arms It's your lips I still kiss What's a memory like you Doing in a love like this Don't you know It would hurt her To find you here with me Why make me remember The way Can't you see that she can love me the way you never could? And I really want to love her. Ain't a time you left for good. What's a memory like you doing in love like this? She thinks we're all through That's not the way it is When I hold her in my arms It's your lips I still kiss What's a memory like you Doing in a love like What's a memory like you doing in a love like this? Love that 
song. John Gerard, by the way, wrote that song. And uh, Steve Warner is the one that released that to me because uh, I heard it and I wanted to do it. And Steve had it on hold. But he had just, in a couple months prior to that, had a number one song with a, a song called Your Memory. Your memory, what was it doing in my coffee? I'm not sure what the, what the word, but... Um, so because Steve already had a song with the word memory in it, he released that song to me. And uh, I'm forever grateful, Steve. And the other night, um, after Tim McGraw did one of my songs, he did a song called Take the Long Way Home and uh, challenged everybody. So I, I did a song and then Brad Paisley came on and he said, I'll see your John Schneider and raise you a Steve Warner. So uh, it's, it's kind of cool to be part of, part of all that right now. And this is the song that Tim did the other night to uh, kind of start this whole thing. Take the long way home. She won't wait up tonight. I can't take the long way home. There won't be any fight. Tonight I can stay out late with the boys, play cards and come in at dawn. Since she left me, I've got a choice. I can't take the long way home. No pictures on the walls. No carpet on the floor. No one ever calls. No one knocks on my door. Just a place where I sleep at night, but I can't sleep alone. Think I'll stop off and have a bite, take the long way home. What makes a house a home? sometimes hard to say you never know all the riches you own till someone takes them away night is clear and my work is it's a shame to be alone Think I'll go have a beer or two Take the long way home Think I'll go have a beer or two Take the long way Pretty, pretty song. 